Wrapped in a white shawl, the royal baby was unveiled to the waiting press outside St Mary's Hospital in London. It was the first royal engagement for the third in line to the throne at just over a day old, giving him a taste of what awaits him as the newest member of the British royal family. Proud parents, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, were all smiles as they showed off their firstborn. Showing no signs of a sleepless night, the Duke did admit that his son had a good pair of lungs on him. Wearing matching baby blue outfits, commentators have drawn comparisons between Kate's polka dot dress and the dress worn by William's mother, Diana, as she introduced her own son to the press. Taking questions from the assembled media circus, the prince looked at ease, as Catherine admitted William was the first to change the royal nappy. She went on to say she felt very emotional, like any new parent might, before handing back to her husband to face the barrier of microphones. He's, uh, he's a big boy, he's quite heavy, but uh, we're still working on a name, so we'll have that as soon as we can. But uh, it's the first time we've seen him, really, so having a proper chance to catch up with his ears. Who does he look like? Does he look like you or Catherine? He's got her looks, thankfully. No, no, no. <laughs> The couple are expected to try and give their son as normal an upbringing as possible and handle much of the childcare themselves. William has two weeks statutory paternity leave from his service with the Royal Air Force and was getting into the swing of things. The new father mouthed few as he managed to get the car seat in first time before setting off for the place they call home, Kensington Palace, where they will spend their first night as new parents with the future king. Our correspondent in London was on the scene and he says... After the visit of both sets of grandparents, the Duke and the Duchess of Cambridge have left for Kensington Palace, their official residence with the royal baby. Still no name has been released yet. The bookie's favourite is George, followed by James and Alexander. James Franey, Euronews, London.